Hi, my name is Janetta Stein, and this is my application for the Software Sustainability Institute's 2021 Fellowship Program. I am currently a Senior Research Software Engineer at Newcastle University. Born and bred in South Africa, I did my undergraduate degree, a BA with African Languages and Sociology, at the Northwest University in Potchefstroom. However, my interests were in computing, and after two years in the military and another two years teaching secondary college, I started working as a self-taught programmer in the financial markets while pursuing a diploma in data metrics with computer science. I immigrated to the UK working as a full-stack developer, first in online gaming and then some in traffic control. During this time I also completed a Master's in Computing for Commerce and Industry with the Open University. In 2009 I decided to go back to university full-time and completed a Master's in Bioinformatics and Computational Systems Biology, followed by a PhD in Computational Neuroscience. Since then I have worked as a bioinformatician then a senior research associate before joining Newcastle University's newly established research software engineering team in 2019 as a senior RSE. In our RSE team, we usually get to work on two projects. Half my time I spend on the Learning Machines project for the Alan Turing Institute. In this project, we are looking at a long-term support infrastructure that ensures that te technologies built on yesterday's data continues to be safe in the future. I have mostly been working on creating an infrastructure using Docker containers, as well as writing some Java code to provide a REST interface for some of the services we have running. For the other half of my time, I have taken the training lead in our team. I'm a certified carpentry instructor and in August this year I also became a carpentry instructor trainer. We run workshops at least once every two months and I'm also working on new lessons such as markdown, continuous integration and testing. Earlier this year at the SSI Collaborations Workshop 2021, a new project called Carpent Pie was born from the hack day. The aim of Carbon Pie is to bring Carpentry's workshops to parts of the world where there is no or unreliable internet access. We address the problem by using Raspberry Pis that will serve as an access point for workstations to connect to. It will also serve as a web server serving all lessons, R, Python libraries required for the workshops as well as the downloads of software that are required. To be able to teach the collaborative section of the Git lesson, the server will serve Git T to replace GitHub. After the hack day, where Carpent Pi won the first prize, I was able to establish a small community of people who were interested in developing the project further. Since April, we have met once a month. One of our members won a Data Science by Design Anthology grant for developing a zine of the project. Carpent Pi was also accepted as one of the challenges for the Port Hackathon. The aim of the Port Hackathon is to combine creative minds from CERN and non-profit organizations in interdisciplinary teams to work on humanitarian technology-related benefits to society. After the Port Hackathon, quite a few people joined our Carpent by Slack channel, and my hope is that we'll get a few more people on board to push our project forward. I've been amazed by people's enthusiasm for the project and people from various parts of the world have shown interest and are excited about the possibilities. I'm currently in contact with the Carpentry Central Committee investigating the possibility of Carpent Pi becoming a Carpentry's incubator project. My plans for the fellowship is to drive the Carpent Pi for project forward. I would like to obtain a few Raspberry Pis which we can use for testing and to run pilot workshops. We currently have community members in the US, Wales and north of England working on compiling lesson content creating SD card images of the operating system and software. It would make sense to run our first pilot sessions in these three locations. After this we might look at running pilots in South Africa where a great deal of problems are experienced with internet access and power outages. When running the pilots, one of the Carpent Pi contributing members will be around to set up and address any problems that might occur. However, once others want to start using Carpent Pi, we will need to make sure that they are able to work with the hardware and software, and thus we plan to develop a Train the Trainers workshop that will allow instructors to familiarize themselves with the Carpent Pi environment. I would like to arrange a community meetup and hackathon. 
At the moment, we are working in isolation with monthly feedback at our community meetings. I believe that it would be a valuable opportunity to discuss challenges, solutions and plans for the futures. Cost and travel restrictions will probably determine whether this will be an in-person, online or hybrid event. We still have a great deal of work to do and Carp and Pie is obviously a long-term project. I am hoping that the fellowship will help me establish a strong base in terms of the community and the required infrastructure to ensure the longevity of Carp and Pie so that we can take on the parts of the world where Carp and Pie is most needed. In the process, I hope that we will be able to improve the quality and reproducibility of research being performed by people who do not have good internet access. Thank you very much for listening.